This one's on a program called ext2 read. Uh, basically, if you're on a Windows machine and you need to access your uh, Linux partition or you need a file from your Linux partition, uh, you can use this program instead of you know rebooting and go to your um, you know Linux system. Uh, so this is the program. All you gotta do is just download it and extract it, and you can run it. You know, you don't need to install or anything. All right, it's just a self-executable here. So what you need to do is actually give it uh, was it admin permissions? So you right click on it and go to capability here, and down here uh, you need to um, allow it to have uh, administrator privilege here. And that's it. You get that's all you gotta do. Now when you double click on it, right? Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks uh, pretty crappy, but it does work, okay? And let me try some of this here. Oh, okay, so it doesn't use it doesn't work with sim links. So if you have sim links, um it doesn't work. You have to go to exact place. So uh this is my home folder exactly. Here's my uh user. And in here is you know all your files here. It doesn't organize it really well, but as you can see, it looks like a piece of shit. But like I said, it does work. Let me try to uh get one file out, like my bash RC file here. Okay. Just right click on it and save and put this put this in the desktop here. Uh let me give it a new name. Bash RC, right? Save that sucker. And now it's right here. Uh let's open this. And yeah, there you go. This is my bash RC file here. All the good shit. Alright, so that's how it works and it does this, you know, for movies, everything like that. Uh, it does support up to, let me see here, EXT2, EXT3, and EXT4. Uh, so it covers all the base right there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you want to uh, use it, uh, go ahead and go download it. And that'll be it for this one.